Hey there, welcome back. Today, I want to talk about something incredibly important. Jesus' teachings and how they can save you from hell. Whether you're new to the faith or have been walking with God for years, this message is for you. Let's dive in. Jesus, in the Gospels, spoke extensively about heaven and hell. In Matthew 25, 46, he says, Then they will go away to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. This verse tells us that hell is real, but so is heaven. It's a sobering reminder that our choices have eternal consequences. But here's the good news. Jesus also taught us how to avoid hell and embrace eternal life with God. In John 3, 16, Jesus famously says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. The key here is belief. Belief in Jesus, in his sacrifice and in his resurrection. Now you might be thinking, but I've done so many wrong things, how can I ever be forgiven? Well, Jesus addressed this too. In Luke 15, 7, he says, I tell you that in the same way there will be more rejoicing in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous persons who do not need to repent. No matter what you've done, if you turn to God with a repentant heart, he will forgive you. The devil, though, loves to make us feel hopeless. He wants us to believe that our sins are too great, that we're beyond redemption. But that's a lie. Jesus' sacrifice on the cross was for everyone, for you, for me, for all of us. In Romans 10:9, it says, if you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. It's that simple. Confess and believe. I know life can be tough, and sometimes it feels like we're trapped in a cycle of sin and despair. But remember, Jesus came to set us free. In John 8, 36, he says, So if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. So how do you turn to God? Start with prayer. Talk to Him. Confess your sins. Ask for forgiveness. And invite Jesus into your heart. Read the Bible. It's God's guidebook for our lives, full of wisdom and encouragement and get involved in a local church. Having a community of believers can support and uplift you in your journey. In conclusion, Jesus' teachings are clear. He offers us a way to avoid hell and gain eternal life with God. The devil may try to make us feel hopeless, but Jesus gives us hope. Turn to him, believe in him, and you will be saved. Thanks for watching, and may God bless you on your journey. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, take care and keep the faith.